Hey folks, Solo Gamer here, and we're back playing another Tournament of Champions in our Talisman game. And this time we are going to be using the Firelands expansion. That's right, the brand new Firelands expansion. So what's different about the Firelands expansion? Well, besides a new a couple new alternate endings, which we have right here. We have one of them here. And some new characters. So let's go over these real quick. First one is the Gin Blood one. <clears throat> it's this guy. You know, I don't think I did uh, too bad of a paint job on this guy. He starts in the city. He's neutral. Two strength, four craft, four fate, four life. <clears throat> he comes with the extinguish spell and a fiery retribution spell because he begins the game with two spells. At the start of your turn, you may discard one of your spells to gain one fate. When you turn ends, you may spend one fate to draw one spell if your craft allows. Whenever, whenever another character casts a spell on you, your space, or one of your cards, you may either gain one fate or spend two fate to bind that spell. If you bind the spell, it has no effect and you may immediately cast it on a new target, ignoring region and timing restrictions. If you do not use a spell, it is discarded. <coughs> another new character we have here is the Dervish. Here's my rendition of him. He starts in the Oasis. Three strength, two craft, four fate, one gold, four life. He begins the game with a sword and water bottle from the purchase deck, which we have. One weapon you are carrying does not count towards your carrying limit. Okay, You may use two weapons at the same time in battle. And when you defeat an enemy in battle and take it as a trophy, you may immediately move a number of spaces equal to the de enemy's defeated strength. When you encounter that, sp and then you then encounter that space you land on, which is pretty cool. And he is a good. Then we have the Warlord. I probably didn't do as good job on this one. And she starts the ruins, and she is evil. So you know we got a couple good evil people here. We have four strength, three craft, two fate, one gold, four life. When you encounter a follower, you may immediately conscript it. Take that follower as a conscripted follower, <clears throat> even if you normally could not take it. Ignore all the card texts on your conscripted follower and instead treat them as if they said add one to your strength during battle. When you defeat another character in battle, you may take one of his followers as a conscripted follower in addition to the normal reward. When you would lose a life, you may discard one of your conscripted followers to prevent the loss of life. Okay, so we do have a couple new things on here. We have these little burn tokens here, and you can place these burn tokens on a space like that. And if somebody lands on the space with a burn token, they lose one life. Uh, there can never be more than one burn token on a space. We have some new adventure cards that I've mixed in, so hopefully we'll get a hold of some. Some new spells, which I've mixed in, and hopefully we'll get a hold of some of those. And then we have these terrain cards. I'm going to take the bottom one here. And as you can see, this is the woods. <clears throat> so you can take this terrain card and like put it on another space, like the fields, and the fields is no longer the fields, it is now the woods. Okay? So that's what these terrain cards are. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> We're gonna start with Mr. Gin Blood here. Now let's roll the die. And he gets a two, and he goes to the hills. See what he hits here, a guide. You do not need to roll the die in the Chesham Craigs of Forest unless you wish to. Okay. Well, he's got a follower already. Okay, let's start. Next is the Dervish. And he moves one space. So he moves to the desert. Lose one life, then draw one card. Of course, he has the bottle, so he won't lose one life. And this is a Duskwood Wraith. And he has a craft two, so let's see... What he can do, he has both have craft two. Alright, well he beats the thing, so he gets to keep it as a trophy. And now we have the warlord. Five. One, two, three, four, five. At the temple. So let's see what happens at the temple here. Let's pray. And we have a nine, and that is gain one spell. Okay. An extinguished spell. Okay, so now it is the Gin Blood's turn. There's three. One, two, three. He's at the plains. <clears throat> and he has a bandit. Strength of four. He will not attack you if you pay one gold. Oh, uh, huh. He 
Let's see here. He's going to pay the gold. I, I, he can't fight him yet. He's only got two strength. <clears throat> three. One, two, three. We're at the ruins. Draw one card. Orb of Destiny. When you pay fate to re-roll a die, you may roll two dice and choose the result. If you roll devils, discard all your fate immediately along with this card. Oh, the woods. Alright, stranger. Talismonger will remain here for the rest of the game. Roll one die. Lose craft. So this thing has to lose one craft already. <clears throat> okay, well, we're back one. Rolls one, get drunk, and collapse in the corner. Miss one turn. Okay, the dervish here is one, two, three. The black knight. Either pay one gold or lose one life. Or he's going to pay one gold. All right, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> well, they can't attack each other on this card because this is a penalty one, so she has to pay one gold as well. He missed the turn, so stand him back up. One, two, three, four at the heels. Treasure map. Whenever you draw an object from the adventure deck, you may also gain one gold. Okay. So he's already got his objects. Well, no, the sword's not going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fields. Baleful Eye. No good character may have the Baleful Eye. Okay. Well, this thing's evil. All right. Now the Jin guy goes. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. The Fields. A demon. Ah, a demon has appeared. Craft of ten. Yee, yee, yee. All right. All right, let's see. Ugh. All right, well, he lost anyways. Uh, when you are defeated in battle, even if you are killed, burn all your spells. Burn the enemy that defeated you. Okay, so he's going to cast his Fire Retribution spell. Spells, objects, and followers. Well, he burned everything. But, <clears throat> he lost one life. But he got that demon off the board. Four for the dervish. One, two, three, four. The planes. Bane sword. Add two to your craft during psychic combat against spirits. Okay, now he's at his limit. Warlord. One, two, three, four. We're at the fields. Healer. A healer has made home here for the rest of the game. He will up to two lives per visit for any character landing here free of charge. Well, that's pretty good. Fortunately, she don't need to heal, but... Some of these others will. All right, he goes to the fields. Uh, whenever an event is drawn, you may choose to be unaffected by it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Raging Volcano. Oh, boy, here we go. One. Lose one life. E. Let's uh, pay a fate. Why don't we? Two. <laughs> lose one life. All right, so he's got to lose a life. Five. One, two, three, four, five. The woods. A mercenary. If you want to mercenary to follow you, uh, you don't, we don't have any, she don't have any gold. Ah, but when you encounter a follow it, you may immediately conscript it. So she is going to take the follower. Wow. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Grace hearted. The grace hearted will remain here for the rest of the game. You may either replenish one fate or heal one life per visit free of charge. Okay, well, he'll heal life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Holy water. No evil character may have holy water. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. It's a regular item. This card. Oh, well. What are we going to get rid of? Uh, we'll just peed it there. We already have the water bottle. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The forest. Roll a die. And we roll a four. Safe. One, two, three, four, five, six. A volcano again. Four. Discard all other adventure cards in this region. Okay, so it looks like we just lost all the healers. Everything. Okay. And then we got rid of the volcano. Okay, so let's see here. Two, one, two planes. Hearth rune. Instead of your normal move, you may teleport to your start space. You must then ditch the hearth rune on the space that you moved on. Yeah. He can't carry that. One fields. Treasure trove. When revealed, roll two dice and place that much gold on this. Let me take up two coal. So we have seven. Let's put three, five on the card. And she gets two. One. Okay, Sword of Truth. No evil character may have the Sword of Truth. <clears throat> okay. We're going to drop this sword, and he hits the Sword of Truth. Alright, number five. One, two, three, four, five. The Graveyard. Okay, he's good. So he has to lose one life. Warlord, one, two, three. We got a battle going now. All right. See what we got. Well, we're tied at one. And let's see. He has the mercenary. He has a bigger strength by a couple. He's going to pay a fate token to reroll. All right, four. And then she will pay a fate token to reroll. So two. Four and two is six. Two and four is six plus the follower. And the <clears throat> Ooh, wait a minute. Three. Four. Four. They're tied. But With the follower, just to add one to his strength. So, oh. ah, he won though. Look at that. Three, four, seven, eight, four, two is six, seven. So he has to lose the mercenary now, and she lost one life. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Prayer book. After rolling the die when praying, you may add up to three to the score. Okay. Alright. Let's see the dervish here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see the fields. Twilight Forest. We won't be doing that one. Blinding Radiance. Nope. 
Treasure map. We got another treasure map. Okay, we'll put that one there. To roll one die and gain that much gold. Four gold. Three. One, two, three. Two bags of gold. So we're getting some gold here. The Dervish, I mean the blood, Jim Blood, he rolls one. Has to draw two cards. What do we have here? And we have one day. Time card. Earthquake. Yee. Earthquake shots of land. Roll one die for each adventure face card on a roll of one, two, or three. The adventure card is discarded. Start with this one. Discarded. Gold. Nope. That one. Yep. The sword. Yep. Dang. And then the earthquake is discarded as well. Now we have a black cat. You must take the cat as a follower and discard all of your fate. You, God, dog. You can discard it if you roll a one during your turn. All right, so that is that. This dervish comes here to the city. He will heal. Heal up to two lives at the cost of one gold. So we will heal two lives for one gold. Alright, so we did that. And now this warlord. Four. One, two, three, four. At the plains. Peasant mob. If you are like if you are not you remember, uh no. I don't wanna do that. Horse thief. A horse thief in the land. If you had it already, they must you must leave. Okay, well, that's an event for a horse thief. Okay, Mr. Jim rolls a one. He can get rid of the cat. Look at that. Rolled a one, got rid of the cat. He's at the plains. Warlock's apprenticed. Eh. We will get rid of that. Patrol. I was trying to maintain law and order in this area. They immediately move you back to your start space. So he has to move back to his start space, which is the city. <clears throat> Dervish. He's at the plains. Banshee. We have a Banshee here. That has a craft of three, has a craft of four. But you can add craft. Ooh, we got two, four. Four. And four is eight. Five and three is eight. It's a tie. So it's a standoff. Warlord. Fields. Stormcaller, if you have armor. Okay, well, you don't have armor. So. Ooh, let's pay a fake token. Well, you know, nah, you're going to have to. No, okay. Okay, she's going to distinguish, extinguish the baleful eye. Use that and defeats the enemy. Jen, one, two. Vampire bats. Okay, so they tied. Only about two or more points, which she does. A dervish, one at the tavern. Rolls a six. Bury you to the temple if he wants. Nah. And the warlord. One, two, three. And it looks like we're gonna. Well, it's evil neutral, so. She does have better strength. Alright, why don't you attack? It's hide. Nobody has a fate. Uh, beats him. So he loses a life. If he don't have any followers. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end it this time. And when we come back, we're going to keep playing. Uh, Solo Gamer saying, see you then.